Okay, so like I said, we want to get you up and running and online as quickly and as simply as possible. But before we start, I just want to give you a quick overview as to what the main components are to building a website. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a web host. And I like to describe the web host as being the land on which you're going to build your site. Once you've got your web host, you're going to need a domain name. And your domain name is simply your address. That's where your site will be found. After the domain name, you're going to need a WordPress account. And the WordPress account is simply the structure in which you're going to build your site. So I'll just use that analogy to make it simple to understand. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, the first thing you need is a hosting account. And below this video, you'll see a link for Bluehost, which is a web hosting provider. Now, by way of transparency, I have an affiliate link with Bluehost, which means I get a small commission for every customer I send their way. So feel free to use my affiliate link. I really appreciate that. You can either click on the Bluehost banner or you can go to tonylbrown.com forward slash Bluehost and it will take you over to the Bluehost homepage where you can get started. So let's go over there now. So here we are on the Bluehost homepage and you'll see a big banner here saying get started now and we'll just click that and it will take us to our plan options. Now you'll see there are three plans to choose from. What I'm going to recommend for this example is that we go with the starter plan. We just need one website with a hundred gigabytes of web space and we still get unlimited bandwidth. So we're going to go with this one for this example. If you are planning on having more than one website set up at this early stage, then go ahead and get the plus one. But like I said, for this example, we'll go with the starter plan. So we'll click select. So now it's given us two options. We've signed up and it's saying, do we want a new domain or do we already have a domain? Now you may already have a domain, but for this example, we're going to go ahead and set up a new domain name. So this is where you would type in what you want your website to be called. And you'll see here there are different prefixes you can have. So you can have .com, .co, .org and so on. I always recommend where possible get the .com. It's the easiest one to remember. It's the one everybody knows. And again if you are doing a personal brand then you'd go for your full name. If your full name is not available then you could put your middle initial in there. So for this example, we're going to call this website Lightspeed Website because we're going to build this website in Lightspeed. And let's see. Okay, so that's gone through. It said, congratulations, I'm ready to go. The domain is available. So it's just asking me for some details now. So this is where it would process my name, etc., and other details. So let's go ahead and get that going. So I'm just going to put my name, country, obviously I'll blur this out so not everyone can see my personal details. So we've put our basic details in there. Now the options it's giving us here is our plan options and like I said you've got a 12 month plan at 4 95 a month, a 2 year plan at 3 95 a month and a 3 year plan at 3.49 a month and like I said you have to although it's giving you the price per month you do have to pay for 12 months up front so again for this example I'm going to go with the 12 month starter plan I usually go with the two years and I encourage you to do the same but for this example I'm just going to go with the, the 12 month plan now again it's giving you some options here we don't want none of these it's giving you a site backup option at 167 a month. We don't want that. Site lock, domain security, again we don't want that. Domain privacy, this may be an option you would want. What this will do is to keep your personal details private from the website register. But for, again for this example I'm going to knock that off. So we've gone for 12 months, we haven't got any of these selected and now we're going to put in our payment details. So this is where you need your credit or debit card. 
And again, I'll just blur these details out because I don't want everyone knowing my credit card details. Now it's asking you here whether you want to register as a personal business or charity. Now depending on your current situation would depend on which one of these you would select. I've got a limited company set up so I'm going to set up my new domain under my limited company. If you haven't currently got a, a company structure then you'd have to do it as personal. Obviously that comes down to your current circumstances. Okay, so I've done all that. It's asking for me to confirm that I've read the terms and conditions, etc. I'll click yes and go to next. So it's just thinking. So there we are, it's set up, it's been processed. And it's given me a few options here, which we don't want. It's offering us a load of different things which we don't want. And this is a bit like when you go to a fairground and you come off the ride and you've got to walk through the gift shop. They do offer you a number of things. We don't want none of these at the moment. And there we have it, congratulations. We're set up and we're ready to go. So what we want to do now before we can log in is to create a password. Now when setting up your password, Bluehost gives you an option to use a password generator to create a very difficult to hack password. I recommend using a password generator to get a very difficult to hack password. So what you can do is just click that button, it will open up and give you a password here. Um, I doubt you will remember these passwords. What you'll have to do is to cut and paste them and put them somewhere you'll remember or write them down and put them somewhere you'll remember. For this example I'm going to use my own password which it says is fair. Okay and we're going to create. Okay so now we're ready to go. So it's brought us to this login page and what you can do is put in your new domain name to log in as your username which we've got as light speed website dot com and we'll put our password in and it should take us to our admin panel so here we are we're logged in and it's given us an option here uh, get started with helpful resources or get the team to do it I'll just close that and I just want to take you through the basics of your control panel so this is your control panel what we want to do is to go and install WordPress one great thing with Bluehost is they offer you a quick installation option so if we click here install WordPress and it will take us through the process of installing WordPress for us and it's as simple as clicking this button here install we just check that we've got the right domain name yes and here we go so here it's saying one last step we're almost there it says show advanced options if we tick that and we're gonna name your site so again you'd put the name of your site in here again you could call it anything you want it's sensible to give it the same name as the domain name and then you want to put your password in again here so this is a password you will use to log in to your new site and then tick that you've read and then click install now and off we go Okay, they're setting up WordPress for us. Now it's asking us do we want to find a theme? Now at this point, we're going to ignore this. We'll find a theme when we get in, into WordPress. It's still going, you'll see the progress bar doing its thing. And there we go, your installation is complete. So if you just click at the top where it says My Installs, and it's showing us here we've got the website set up lightspeedwebsite.com 
if we just go over to here to admin login and this will take us to the admin login page for WordPress which looks like this and here we are so it's asking you for your username and your password which we set up earlier now all this information should also have been emailed to you to the email that you set up the account with if you do ever lose this information or forget it you can find it in your email account which you use to set up with let's just put in our username there and our password and let's see if we can get in so here we are in the dashboard of WordPress we're almost there and one thing we want to do is to get ourselves a nice theme so if we go to appearance and themes just click that so WordPress install a standard default theme and you'll see here are some sample themes what I will say is don't get too lost in the theme library there are hundreds of thousands of themes to choose from and it's very easy to get lost in there by way of example I'm going to install a new theme which I always use for my sites if we just click here add new theme and then you can search for a specific theme again feel free to scroll through if you want to like I said it's it's never ending there are thousands and thousands of them I'm gonna search for spacious and here it is so I'm gonna click install it's a theme I've used in the past it's a theme I like and it's as simple as clicking install and going to activate once you click activate that is now your theme and then what we want to do is have a quick look at the site so if you go up here to the left it's got a, a home icon and underneath it says visit site if we click that it will show us what our site is currently looking like and here we go so we've got lightspeed website and here it is this is live on the web There's nothing much there at the moment but we are up and running so let's just go back and we're gonna create a new post so let's just go to posts here on the left hand side and click add new and I'm going to click in the title of my post my first post and I'm going to drop some text in here which I've just cut and paste I've cheated a little bit and I says wow we built this site in just a few minutes following Tony Brown's simple step-by-step -step process now it's time for a cup of tea and if I click publish that is up and running let's go to view post and here we go now there are lots of other things you can do with this so for example putting in your your header putting in images etc but with this tutorial it was just a case of getting you up and running there are hundreds of tutorials out there about how to customize your WordPress site how to add images etc but that's it we've done it in just a few minutes we've gone from having no website to having our own hosting account for 12 months having our own domain name and having a WordPress website set up so I hope you found this useful I wish you all the best and if I can help you in any way please feel free to contact me you can get me on Twitter at Tony L Brown 3VS or you can just email me at me at tonylbrown.com. All the best and take care.